Okay, so this is the Yolink electric valve controller. You see it has this arm that turns 90 degrees. And the idea is that it sits over your water shutoff. And when a signal comes from the any of the water sensors, this turns this 90 degrees down to shut it off. Now, the issue I have here is that the bracket supplied uh, with the controller um, is, is too small. Uh, it doesn't fit around properly. It doesn't give enough distance for this device to sit back. So this extra piece here is actually an additional bracket you can buy from Yolink uh, on the, through their app. If you go to the store, you'll see it listed there. Um, and that gives more distance. <laughs> However, you can see from the setup here that I don't have a straight run of pipe, right? I've got this uh, large nut, so the distance is going to be too long. So I'm going to see how I can solve that. Okay, so I've now mounted the special additional bracket. You can buy it from them for about $10. Um, it even comes supplied with these worm grips. Um, and... Uh, but the problem is, you see that this is here, there's a gap, right, of about half an inch. And this would have been fine had it not been for this uh, pressure, uh, pressure reducing valve and the large um, nut. So, yeah, if this had been a straight piece of pipe, this would have been perfect. So what I'm going to do is find some bolts and make this longer. Okay, so because of the gap between the valve and the actual uh, handle here, I swapped out the original uh, bolts, which are, swapped out the original bolts, that's what's on the right there, with these longer ones that I just did lying around. So, can hook this up now, see if it works. Okay, so I have the uh, water valve uh, hooked up. It's sitting on the handle. Um, I have a bowl of water and I have one of the smart uh, water detectors. I'm gonna drop it in here, see what happens. That's it. The water's now been shut off. And that happened within just a few seconds. Very impressive.